good morning, good morning. from C. Yeah. So we are not gonna make it to Roatan today. We are not. We were really excited to get to check out the Mahogany Bay port. And we had big plans to try to find this hot sauce that we've really been wanting. Yeah. It looks like this in case you have are you, ever are you seen put it. in and everything? Yeah, I'm gonna put okay. it in right here. Okay. Please let us know where you can find this. Cause if you know anywhere in the United States or, you know, if you just want to ship us a bottle, just let me know. I don't think we have the followers to just ship us bottles. Well, who knows? That's true. Who knows? So today's a sea day. They're working on getting an updated sea day schedule to us. So we're waiting on that. I am partially dressed for Zumba. I am, I'm, I am ready, Cesar, if, if, if you're ready. I don't believe there's going to be soon, but I think they're just going to be running around, unfortunately, trying to... Cesar, you, you need to work out. Like, it, it's good for your cardiovascular health. Yeah. And, it, you know, it's it's a it's a twofer, you know. You have an activity, you get your workout in. Because we told you guys before, the seed dates are pretty much like clockwork. They yeah. do the same things over and like over that. and over and over again. So, because it's a new seed day... I don't think they're ready. <laughs> I used to feel like we should just go to our, our schedule yesterday. Let's just revert back. Everybody show up for Zumba at 9. Uh, I think that's just, that makes sense. But uh, so far, no word about Zumba. No, the, the captain's very, very sad giving us the... Yeah, I w we would have recorded the message for you guys, but I literally, it literally woke me up this morning. Mm -hmm. But... It was right at 7. He... Oh, because we moved our clocks back an hour mm -hmm. last night so it was right at seven and then he's just like yeah we're not gonna make it it's too high spin wind, wind speeds yeah to even make it in to the port so. yeah but we didn't check in with you last night before bed so i wanted to let you know that we did make it to the comedy show yeah. which is why we probably didn't check in with you because it was, it was late um I, he, he did, did a completely different show there were no jokes mm -hmm. that were the same it was really good it was not that many people there so that was kind of part of the joke yeah. there's also a toga party i, I don't know what was yeah, going there's on there's a toga party he he like he wanted to ask so many questions and he could not yeah because they were kids in the audience yeah it was a but they were preteens. yeah but still so. it was a public show so uh -huh. he couldn't really cuss at all he couldn't do any of the yeah things he normally did it was still funny I, yeah. I think he would be really good and at a like an uninhibited show yes um and then we forgot to tell you guys we met somebody yesterday um mm -hmm. we sat with at the pub lunch it was uh, mike and paula and mike makes these really cute little 3d printed guys so they yeah. gave us one and it has like our sailing on it I, I can't get I'll insert a picture of it because I can't get it to focus on it but anyway it's like a little Nemo and it has our sailing on it and their name and so I think that's really cool mm -hmm. yeah. so I'm excited about this I I got really excited when they gave it to us because this is so cute I'm gonna mm -hmm. put it up on my little like that's cruise cool. shelf yeah yeah anyways so we're gonna go to breakfast I think we're gonna go up to the buffet and see what's buffet. going on there okay yeah Cause I kind of want to try an omelet. I gotta figure out. Oh that. yeah, the, the omelet station up there that you know about. So yeah, and I don't know where it's at or who's at it. We gotta find it. Yeah. Yeah. This is another investigative report. Another we investigator. found out that the reserve seating is for sweet guests. And the extra menu is also for sweet guests. Yes. So we know that. We, we know. We told someone. They're like, oh, that makes way more sense. Yeah, because they went to breakfast expecting the different menu, and they, they were, were very disappointed. Very disappointed. As one would be. Yeah. They need to not put that on there unless they have, like, this is a special menu. You don't qualify. Especially since they know like, the values show all. So the accounts are very much linked. So you can definitely tell who is and who is not. And yeah, you, you easily, should just block it on the yeah, you TV. you easily filter it for that. But. Yeah. Yeah, because I think it's going to cause some disgruntled people. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see how disgruntled people are today. I know everyone was really looking forward to this port, and a lot of people had some really cool excursions that they wanted to do. Yeah. Um, so I feel really bad for people who had big stuff scheduled. We were just going to walk around the port and look for the, the hot sauce. Yeah. Here. <laughs> do a second one. Yeah, second it's not even going to be in there. That's true. Um, so that's what we're going to head to. We'll keep you guys posted. We'll let you know what happens. Mm -hmm. um, since we weren't able to make the port, this has never happened to us. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah it's, no, we've never, we've switched ports. Yeah, we've, we've never, never missed a port, a port entirely. So, in all of our nine, this is our ninth cruise? Tenth cruise. Tenth cruise. In our nine previous cruises, we have never missed a cruise port. Tenth cruise. I don't know. We need we'll, to count again. We'll find out later. All right, well, we'll see you guys here in a little bit. We are to Delito. We're gonna see how busy it is out here. Didn't realize there's a door, push the door thing going on. Is it over here to the right? I don't remember. Because we are, uh, we skipped the port, we're going very slow. So no rocking today. You guys can't see me, but no rocking. It's gonna be a very, very slow and steady sea day while we, while we go to, we're going to Costa Maya next. Yeah, so. So yeah, it should not be a rocky day at least. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully not. All right, so I got some sausage and bacon, biscuits and gravy, hash browns and an egg, and then an omelet on the way. It's loud in here, sorry. Look, they have a whole salad bar for breakfast, so I was able to get cucumber and carrots and lettuce and tomatoes for my salad this morning. The long-awaited omelet has arrived, delivered by this guy. I think a little warmer for you, so just in case you think it's just sitting out there cold, it's actually just in a little heater. Well, so the process is you order it and they have to fill up two slips of paper, which seems inefficient to me. So I think it'd be better if they had some sort of system where they could just rip off like the top part and it matched the bottom part or something. Yeah. But anyways, so then you have to keep, then the waiters go check, but then they have to walk all the way to the other side of the buffet to go check. I'm just making you stare at Will. And so I just feel like it would be better if like they gave you a time to come back or they did give you a time, it's just inaccurate. It's just 25 minutes it's inaccurate. Yeah. Well no, they did at the time I ordered it. Oh they just kind of ordered it. Yeah, and so generally it takes it took about thirty minutes for the omelet to be ready. So kind I mean, if you want an omelet in the buffet, plan for that. If it's busy, 30 minutes. Well, I, I lied to the lady. She answered, oh, how do you do omelet? Try to tell her across the say 15, 15 minutes. I was wrong. I'm sorry, lady, that I didn't know. She gave you the wrong time. Well, he's over here lying to people. But we'll see how it is. Like, uh, after the wait for the celebrity omelet, I was not impressed. So we'll see how this one is. All right. Hello. Schedule's still not ready. We Should came back to the ready. room to get it. So I guess I could just go sit down in Club Fusion and just see if any Zumba happens. <laughs> yeah. Is this true? You could just sit in there and just I hope, could do my own Zumba. Hope and dream. Oh yeah, we could just... Jordan, that was me Zumba. Zumba yeah, that was me zumba -ing. I don't think anyone would want to go to my Zumba. No, you want to be like Vanessa? I don't and know. My husband doesn't dance, so I... I dance for fun. Will you dance? You'll dance. be in my Zumba. Yeah, I'll be in the Zumba. They don't know I'm your husband. No one thinks that anyway, so it's fine. I'm with you all the time. I know. Okay. All right. We're, we're still waiting for the schedule. All right. We are, in fact, currently on an easterly course. As we were approaching the pilot board boarding position just outside the harbor earlier this morning, the wind speed was around 35 knots steady with gusts of 50 knots at times which is considerably higher than all the forecasts that we had. This, along with the current at the entrance and the swell conditions, would have created conditions that are in excess of the ability of the ship's manoeuvring equipment to safely overcome, particularly given the narrow entrance to Mahogany Bay. Since my overriding consideration is always the safety of the ship and are all on board, I made the decision to abort the call to Roatan today, and so we are now proceeding at reduced speed 
On to our next port of call at Costa Maya. I am aware that this will be a disappointment to you and it is a decision that I do not make lightly. However, I'm sure you understand and appreciate that safety must always come first. Yeah, Sue is going to get to go to Roatan today. Sue, it's okay. We're going to come back. Maybe. Okay. All right. So, there's an announcement for you guys. Yeah, since I repeated it, we thought we'd film it. This is really upsetting because I, I really think a lot of people didn't hear it this morning. And they're just now realizing it. Yeah. An hour and a half after. Hi. So, we are in the room because there's nothing else to do. And we were in the Explorer Lounge talking to a lovely couple. And then the art people came in and ruined all of our fun. <laughs> they did. They were just going to sell more art, and we just, we just aren't art people. Yeah, so we left. And then we came back to the room, and we did some work. Yeah. And we will did. I just sat here and bothered him. And now we're going to go to the pub lunch again, because, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know we if really I... liked it. Did I say this yesterday, that it's the best fish and chips at sea? Best fish... Well, I think you may have said it by yourself. I don't think you said it with me in the video. Oh best fish and chips at sea. So we're going to go. Try to do that again. I'm going to look at the menu first just to confirm that they in fact have the fish and chips. Because mm -hmm. if they don't, I'm not interested. Yeah, we're not. We can just go to I think I'm gonna Salty get, Dog. I think I'm going to get two. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I just want the I'll fish. I'll probably get two as well. Actually. Man. Well, it's it. always this fish and um, the peas. So, like, I can and do fries. two sides. Oh, yeah. I don't need two things for us. Well. But it's easier just to order two. This whole one of them could be on an angle. I, that's how we that's were how, last night. Yeah, like, oh, we, we didn't tell you guys we were that. Like this. Yeah, so we spent All like night. the last hours of our night crooked. And yeah, you just, had to walk uphill and downhill. It was well, really weird. In our room, we were uphill and downhill. So, really, it's so our feet were lower than our heads. And it, I was worried I was going to slide out of bed. Yeah. Like, it was really weird. We never experienced anything like that. Yeah, on for hours. Like, it was hours. hours. Yeah, it was so weird. Like, the comedian made fun of it. Like, yeah. It was, hours. it was so weird, guys. Like, let us know down below if you've ever had that. Is it just because this ship is old? Like, what's going on? So, I heard, because I got the internet, because we have to stay here today, that Mardi Gras made it to Roatan. Oh, really? But we didn't. Wow, that's a bigger ship. Yeah. So, they're, so do they just, like, have better navigationalness than us? Maybe. Because it's newer. It's an older ship, so. I don't know. There's a lot of drama about that. Oh, really? How come Mardi Gras that. made it on the group? I mean, I get it. Yeah. Why did we not be able to make it? But we came in earlier than Mark. They were there already, apparently. They were already there. Apparently, oh, I don't know. I don't know. So much, so much news. There's so much tea. I know. I'm, he's just finding out for the first time. This is his live reaction. Okay, we're gonna go see what the pub lunch is about today. Yeah. Hopefully, they have the fish and chips again. Mm -hmm. So, come on. Let's go. Come on. We're gonna be late. Let's go. I don't know if you guys can see, but we're going probably less than 10 knots and we're still seeing a lot of white caps. So, we still feel rocking. But the sky is nice. But the sky is very nice. It's a very pr pretty day. Here is the loaded fry from the sofa dog. So if you don't have one, what are you waiting for? You can win, you can be the winner of this amazing, beautiful, and extremely useful bag. But, 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 I want you to talk, if you are in a team, if you are in a team, you have to talk right now among you because I only have one for the team. It's one per team, and I have a beautiful um, this is a portrait, you know, to put your photos in, okay? It's a photo album, but you only have one per team. So the winning team is going to get only one. So you have to arrange, you know, 
You have to decide who's gonna get the album now before to start. I don't want fights here. <laughs> Alright, we just got done with uh, music trivia. We just got 19 out of 30, so not great, not too bad. Hello. Hello! So we just made it back to the room. We got dressed for dinner. We did change our dinner time so that we could go to the music trivia. And we did, I think it was just like general music Yeah, it was general trivia. like hits. So it was across, I feel like it was more like 70s to now. Mm -hmm. So there were a few repeats from previous music trivia that we were able to get because of that. Yes. Um, but most of the songs we knew at least what the song was. Mm -hmm. But we're so bad at artists. Really bad. So bad at artists. And then I have my new dress on. Yes. So I'll show you guys this because it's something you haven't seen before. Where did we get this dress from? So this one's from Lane Bryant. And we went in to pick up an order and then we got 50% off of this guy. So it's like the nice and summery. Thank so you. That's a new addition to my cruise wardrobe. Yeah. Will also has a new shirt on, so I'll show you that. All right, so Will. It's just medium right now, but. All right. So Will has his new shirt on. It's from Penguin, the Penguin brand. Yeah, something else too, but. Yeah, the Penguin brand. original, I think. Yeah, so it's got this little penguin guy on there. And it's just a little short sleeve button down. And he just has his normal pants and shoes on. But we're ready to go to dinner. Okay, so we're going to go to dinner. They're having beef wellington tonight. And I've never had that before, so I'm no, excited try to try it. So we're going to go do that. And then we have um, the Liars Club game show tonight. Oh, so they didn't get to get the comedian. Oh, yeah. They, they, we thought that. We thought yeah. maybe the me, comedian would come on board at Rotan. We didn't stop in Rotan, so uh -huh. the comedian did not get on board. Yeah. And they just told us that about 530. Yeah, and then, so they said they were updating the schedule. Or maybe six. Even. Like the entertainment schedule for the C-Day, and nothing changed. Yeah, I think it was an oversight. I think they... Mm -hmm. Yeah, they put out these new schedules. The only thing that changed was the title. Like, they really didn't add any activities or anything. So, pretty much there were, like, three things to do yeah. all day. So, yeah, was... every activity was packed. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know how I feel about that. I really, I think we've never missed a... Not. This we've never not missed, a port, missed a port. But I know that, like, on Carnival's sea days... Not sea days, they're port days. They have more activities scheduled mm -hmm. on a regular port day than they had today that turned into a sea day. Yeah. So, I don't know. It was kind of boring, so we had time to work and do some stuff like that. But, anyways, dinner time now. Okay, right. we'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm not a problem at all. They love music, so I started studying music. And by the age I was 17, just one year later, I got my doctorate in music. I got my degree in music. And I'll never forget the date that I got that. It was February 31st. 2015. I'll never forget that day. Eric Green, you can know Latin, you can know Italian, you can know French, you can know Portuguese, you can know Romanian, you can know any Latin language, you know it's a Latin, Latin word. Eric Green comes from the Latin word in Spanish, Ericción, which means, I want to reveal the definition, you look like you don't know. Well, hello there. Huh? Welcome back to the room. <laughs> the boat, the ship just swayed a little bit. So, um, we just got done with the Liars Club. I'm gonna insert a few seconds, some, yeah. few seconds of that here. So the only person we didn't get was DJ Calvin. Yeah, he. I. I there were some heads. As you, yeah, you probably saw there were some heads in the way, so we didn't really realize really film them. Yeah. Well, and it was hard to get him because he's a little shorter too. <laughs> And he kind of in the middle. Yeah. So, but anyways, every, so it was DJ, Calvin, Cesar, and then Mika. Mm -hmm. And Mika's a cruise director, and the other two are assistant cruise directors. And they were so funny. Yeah, like, the that stories was, were 
so wild. outlandish. It was hilarious. I really recommend you guys go to the Liars Club um, mm -hmm. if you're on a princess cruise. I assume most of them have it. Mm -hmm. um, that was so funny. Like I, I recommend for the game, listening to their definitions, enjoying their stories, but listening to their right. definitions. Right, when they do this summary, is like you and you really should decide who's what. Because I. They, they were hilarious. They, they were just hilarious like stories. went off the deep end on their stories. But, anyways, that was a lot of fun. Um, there is, they did have an optional mm -hmm. um, singing entertainment tonight mm -hmm. at 9 30 that you could go to. I think we're tired. We have to move our clocks again back yeah. to the time it was before so we're actually gonna lose an hour tonight yeah. and we do plan on getting off the ship tomorrow and doing some stuff so we're gonna go ahead and get ready for bed and see what happens tomorrow I'm not gonna say we're going to Costa Maya tomorrow because we didn't go to Rotan today, so. to today but we're well, gonna try yeah so, so. Asthma, hopefully it's not another sea day but if it is we'll take you along with us yeah so if you guys have any questions about Princess or the activities that they have or any sort of information, um, wait a minute, did we talk about what? dinner? We did not talk about dinner, let's talk about dinner. So we wanted to talk to you guys about dinner. Yeah. So we went to the main dining room because mm -hmm. they were having beef wellington, I think I've told you that part. Yeah. So I got the, what was it, Von Vonts or something like that, it was puff pastry with a cream based seafood stew mm -hmm. type thing that was good it was okay um i don't think it's something i'll think about in years to come <laughs> what i feel that way about some things um so then we got i ordered the spaghetti carbonara mm -hmm. and the beef wellington now i had ordered the spaghetti carbonara as a additional appetizer for yeah. us to share but it didn't come with the appetizer and so i had to request it from our waiter which is fine um, he brought it, and so we had the beef wellington, the spaghetti carbonara, yeah. and I didn't like the beef wellington. No. Womp womp. I was so excited for it. That's the thing that I was most excited to try on Princess, and it wasn't very good. The, the meat, the tenderloin that was inside was very tough and chewy. Um, the steak knife that they gave me, I couldn't even cut through it. I had to kind of like rip and tear at it. Um, the pup pastry was falling off. It was a little bit soggy. It, it really just didn't meet expectations, unfortunately. Yeah. And then the twice baked potato wasn't fully twice okay. baked. Yeah, it was, it was weird. So it was like they took mashed potatoes and seasoned and then put them on top of a potato. And then there was like unseasoned potato mm -hmm. at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, so. I'm gonna give that one a four out of ten for me. I would not order again. The spaghetti carbonara was Alfredo pasta with peas and bacon. So if you like Alfredo, you'll probably like it. But traditionally, a spaghetti carbonara is very lightly sauced, um, usually made with like you would saute pancetta and then you would toss your noodles in like an egg yolk cheese mixture and so it's like a sticky lightly sauced pasta mm -hmm. and this was just like alfredo sauce stumped on spaghetti noodles with bacon and peas so what about your dishes i had the vegetable terrine it looked gross it does not look very good but with the orange sauce it was pretty good i don't even know what the orange sauce was you liked the orange sauce it, it was yeah i liked the orange sauce especially with the, the vegetable uh terrine uh, piece so that, that was good I don't think I'd get it again but it was good um, then the for my entree I also got the beef wellington mine was a little bit better but still the same thing with the, with the potato and mine was just slightly not like I could actually cut through mine yeah so but it wasn't cooked as well as just normal beef tenderloin well and it was overdone too it wasn't yeah. medium rare it was cooked more like I think it was maybe medium, medium well. to medium well Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could complain about it, but I just don't know what they would do about it. Yeah, and it's a hard dish to cook. Yeah, it is and hard. And cook well. Um, yeah. And then for dessert, I don't think you told me. Oh, I didn't. I had the chocolate cheesecake and two scoops of vanilla gelato. That was excellent. And Highlight of the meal. And I had the, uh, what's it, Petite Forest, which was just the cookies from 
tea time. Yeah, it looks so, like the leftover cookies from tea time. We cannot confirm this. Uh, yeah, I cannot confirm. Mind you, the, the chocolate cookies at the end that you just saw were very good and very soft. Yeah. Other ones are a little hard, so I think they may have been left over. So watch out for the petite fours. Yeah. And it could be any petite four, honestly. Yeah, Just I whatever thought, they had. I thought petite fours were like I thought they were more cakes. cakes. So these were cookies. So we might be wrong though. We're not yeah. very educated in the petite four world. I'm not world. very educated. Um, and I also had a vanilla gelato with caramel and it was really good. Yeah. So the the ice cream, the vanilla gelato is excellent. So it's, it, is it the best at sea? It's the best ice cream, the best free ice cream at sea for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because you get it every, they have it every night. Mm -hmm. I love it. But anyways, all right. That's all about our food. All right, so we are going to bed. And if you guys have any questions for us, please leave them down below. Mm -hmm. um, I know that not a lot of people have been on Princess, especially people who probably watch our channel. And we're happy to explain anything. We had a lot of questions coming in and I think yeah. we still have a lot of questions. Yeah but we're trying to figure it out for everyone. So please like and subscribe to our, or we'll like the video and yeah. <laughs> subscribe to the channel. And leave us some comments. Yeah. Uh, Jordan loves to answer them. I do, but that's it for us tonight. So good night. Yeah. Hopefully see you in Costa Maya tomorrow. Yes. All right, bye.